So I'm gonna talk about an end to pressure animal. I'm an end to pressure animal. You're an end to pressure animal. Humans are end to pressure animals. And there's this great, big, wonderful lie that horses are away from pressure animals. And they're not. And everybody goes, oh, predator play. They're flight animals, fight or flight, blah, blah, blah. And like, I could spend two and a half hours explaining why that's not true. Um, first of all, everybody that says that, they go, well, you know, a horse in his natural state, and with a, you take a wild horse, and you're know, like, you've never been a wild horse. You've never been around a wild horse. You've never been a wild horse either, but you, none of these people have ever been around wild horses. I've spent a lot of time around um, feral horses. There's no such thing as wild horses in this country. I've spent a lot of time around feral horses, and none of the ideas about flight animal work. Um, they're they're into pressure animals, but take that aside. Once you take a horse now, and you now we're training on him, whether whether we're trying to catch him in a stall or it's his first ride or, or any of the situations that, that we come when we take a domestic horse and try to train it, we've taken away that flight. He can't fly. He's figured out he can't fly. That's how round pens work. Um, and so even if, even if they were a more dominant flight animal, which they're not, even if they were, we've taken the ability to fly away. So now they have to be an end pressure animal, which is a fight. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to use end pressure because I, I don't want to talk about it or be thinking about it as, as a fight instinct. So they're end pressure, which means that then anything that, that any outside stimulus, they will push against rather than try to step away from. I wish that they were away from pressure animals because they would be so much easier to train. But they're into pressure animals. So that means any of the pressure that we put on them, they will push back against. Uh, take a horse that pulls back, for instance. A horse doesn't pull back. They push. So when you pull on a horse and it pulls back from you, it's not pulling back from you. It is pushing back against the, pull, the pressure on the back of its pole. It is into pressure. Um, the, the, the first few times we steer them around with our snaff bit or our hackamore or whatever, that's why we take so many pains to, to teach them correctly because we put that pressure on. Well, there, that pressure, if I pull with my left hand, that pressure comes onto the right side of their mouth, whether it's a hackamore or a snaff bit. And so they're not pulling away from my hand. They're pushing against the bit on the other side. Um, that was that's what makes them hard to train is that we have to go against their instincts uh some people don't start horses with spurs on and that's a good idea i think i start horses with spurs on uh, i've got a hell of a lot of control over over my body and so the idea of not not starting a horse with spurs on it has absolutely nothing to do with not accidentally poking the horse and causing something to happen. Because if you're gonna ride with spurs, someday you're gonna have to poke him. It may as well be on the first day because that colt doesn't know what's going on anyway. There's no way to, there's no way to prepare a horse for the first ride. Uh, you just have to have him confident in you. And so having spurs on isn't gonna cause you a wreck, but that thing poking them is going to cause them to push against that pressure because they're an end of pressure animal. The only reason to not wear spurs is to not create more resistance in that horse because they're into pressure. Um, that all goes around to uh, when, when we cinch our horse. If it's a, a young horse or a cinchy horse or even an old horse that's cinchy and they, that causes them to, whether it's blow up, freak out, flip over, or just kind of hump their back or just kind of swap their tail and whatever, that's, that's the same deal that they're pushing against the pressure of that, of that saddle and that cinch. So all of these things that we end up having trouble with with horses is because we're thinking that they're an away from pressure animal and they're not. They're an into pressure animal. They're, they're pushing against the pressure. So you have to figure out one of two things, either how to get them to do the opposite, which is really hard to do, 
or hard or how to get them to push in the direction you want them to which is also hard to do but it's a lot easier to do once you've got your head on straight about what's actually going on there